Here's another application of Green's theorem. Let's take the line integral, this line integral, evaluated about this closed curve system. We have the line segment y equals 2x, then we go along the horizontal line and then down the vertical line. So let's consider here first on the line y equals 2 times x. So we could substitute for y 2x here and here and dy that would just be 2 dx. So this will give us the integral 4x squared times 2x, that's 8x cubed, plus 2 times y, that's 4x, times dy, which is this, that we plus 8x dx. So everything is expressed now in terms of x's and dx's. x goes from 0 to 1. So a real simple integral. When we evaluate it, we get an answer of 6. So here, for that line integral, that is 6. Now, let's consider it evaluated over the horizontal line. Now, for the horizontal line, y, that has a constant value of 2, but dy is 0. So this is just 0. y has a constant value of 2, so that will be the integral of 8x squared dx. And x goes from 1 to 0. Another real simple integral, we get an answer of minus 8 thirds. So we have 6 minus 8 thirds. 6 here minus 8 thirds there. Now, let's evaluate this for the vertical line. And on the vertical line, x is 0. In fact, of course, so is 2x. So this part is just 0. So we have the integral 2y dy. And y goes from 2 to 0. So the limits on it, y starts at 2 and it ends at 0. Another real simple integral we get minus 4. So 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 is the same thing as 6 thirds. So here we have an answer of minus 2 thirds. Now we want to consider the double integral. which has this general form, as we've been writing in the previous videos, double integral, partial of q with respect to x, minus the partial of p with respect to y, dx dy. And we want to know, if we evaluate this double integral, will that give us the same answer as a line integral? Will this equal minus 2 thirds? Now q, that is the coefficient of dy, and p is the coefficient of dx. Partial of q with respect to x, well dy dx, that's just 0. So this is 0. We have 4x squared y, that's what p is. Take the derivative, or the partial derivative of this with respect to y, you get 4x squared, with a minus sign before it. So that's our 
double derivative, a double integral, the double integral of minus 4x squared dx dy. double integral minus sign here 4x squared dx dy. Now we don't have to write it like that. We could, if we wanted to, express it in this form minus 4x squared dy dx. Either way we can do it. Um, hopefully as you saw a couple of videos ago the difference is in this form we are dealing with vertical strips. In this form we deal with horizontal strips. Either way it should give us the same answer and that answer should be minus two-thirds. But let's take this double integral first. So we have minus the double integral 4x squared dy dx and for a vertical strip we'll just sketch in one of them they are going from this line segment up to here where y has a value of 2 now what value does y have on this y on this line segment? It equals 2x. So y goes from 2x up to a value of 2. And we're going to add up all of these vertical strips starting at x equals 0 and going along to x equals 1. So x goes from 0 to 1. So there's our double integral that we want to evaluate. And of course, we start with the inner integral first, which might look strange. Here we're taking, we're evaluating, integrating with respect to y, but there's no y variable over here. In fact, we have an x variable. But remember now with the integrated integrals, we just treat this, this variable as if it's constant. And of course, the integral dy, that's just y. So this gives us 4x squared times y, and y goes from 2x to 2. So that's evaluating this integral, and of course we still have the outer integral left. This one, 0 to 1 dx with a minus sign before it. So this equals, get this in better focus, hold this constant, the integral dy is y times 4x squared, y goes from 2x to 2, then we have the outer integral left with respect to dx. So we have this equals minus 0 to 1, 4x squared times y is going to be 2 minus 2x. dx. We have this minus here, so this will be 8x cubed minus 8x cubed with a minus that's plus 8x cubed. So we have the integral of 8x cubed. And then for the second part we have, this would be minus now because this minus sign, 8x squared. And of course we're going to integrate that with respect to dx. x goes from 0 to 1. So this will just be x to the fourth over 4. So that's 8 fourths x to the fourth over 4. 
there's our 4, going from 0 to 1, minus, this will be x cubed over 3, 8 thirds x cubed over 3, x goes from 0 to 1, put 1 here, that's 1, this is 2, so we have 2 minus, that's 1, 2 minus 8 thirds, of course 2 is the same as 6 thirds, that's minus 2 thirds. So this integral gives minus 2 thirds, the same as the line integral. So we're okay there. Now, let's just check it if we take this integral and what we're dealing with horizontal strips instead of vertical strips. Again, of course, we should get the same answer, uh, minus two-thirds. Well, let's just see if we can do this real quick. Okay, so we have, let's write this over, 4x squared dx dy. Now we're dealing with horizontal strips. So we have to change our figure accordingly. This is out. And now we have horizontal strips. And for here, x starts at 0 and it goes out to this line segment, where y equals 2x. But what value does x have? Well, x is just y over 2. So x starts at 0 and extends to the right till it reaches a value of y divided by 2. Now I want to add up all of these horizontal strips starting down here where y equals 0 and keep doing it till we get to this horizontal line where y equals 2. So y goes from 0 to 2. And then first thing is to consider the inner integral. 4x squared, that would be 1 third 8x cubed. x goes from 1 third 8x cubed, we evaluate this, x goes from 0 to y over 2. Then we have this outer integral, so dy, y goes from 0 to 2. So evaluate this integral, 1 third 4 thirds 8x cubed. Okay, that should be a 4, not an 8. So we have it like this. Now we want to substitute in y over 2 for x cubed. So we have y over 2 cubed. And we should have a minus sign here that we forgot originally. Okay, so here we have y cubed two cubed is eight times three is twenty four. We have four over twenty four. Y cubed over 2 cubed is 8 times 3 is 24, 4, and we have this integral, dy. y goes from 0 to 2, and we have a minus sign here. This would be 1 fourth y to the fourth. So we have minus, this would be 1 over 6. 1 fourth y to the fourth. y goes from 0 
to 2. So put 2 in here. 2 to the 4th is 16. Of course, that's just going to give us 0. So we have minus 16 over 6 times 4 is 24. And of course, that's minus 2 thirds. So this integral, once remember to include the minus sign, and dA gives us a value of minus 2 thirds. So just a quick demonstration. Remember when you get down to the part where you want to take this uh, double integral, you can have dx dy or dy dx, but you had to remember now if it's dx dy, that's going to involve horizontal strips. So set up your limits accordingly, and if you have dy dx, of course that would be vertical strips, and that would be a different set of limits. Okay, that's it then for this problem. Um, the playlist for the vector analysis series is at the website, digital-university.org. The uh, front page is under construction right now, but the playlist is there along with the playlist for all the other video series.